National Educator. Hello everybody, welcome to Home Science for Grade 6 learners and if you're not in Grade 6 that's okay, you're still welcome to watch and enjoy the show. My name is Wanjiko Karaoke but you can call me Shiko, our sign language interpreter's name is Maureen Juguna and on my right I have a lovely teacher. Teacher Nasa. Hi Teacher Nasa, how I'm are you? I'm fine and you? You look lovely. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Nice to have you again. Yeah, say hello to the learner. Hello learner. Welcome to Grade 6 Home Science. Today we shall be learning about healthy living, importance of healthy habits to an adolescent. Ah, yes. oh, maybe those habits can apply to adults too? Yeah, they okay. can. Okay. But uh, you have your own habits. All right. <laughs> but you can still borrow to remind yourself. Great. Thank you. All right, it's a good lesson. Let's do it. Yes. What is good grooming? What is good grooming? Lana, what is good grooming? What do you understand? You're not well groomed. When someone tells you you're not well groomed, what is this person trying to tell you? He's either telling you you have long nails, your hair is shaggy, you're not taking care of your body. Mm -hmm. So gro good grooming is when you take care of your body and your health. Very good. So good grooming mm -hmm. is the art of taking care of yourself mm -hmm. and of your body. Oh. It is how you should stay looking good and feeling good at all times. Ah. How do you feel when someone tells you you're very smart? I feel wonderful. You I feel, feel nice. Very confident. Even the smile can tell me. Mm -hmm. Lana, how do you feel when someone tells you you're very smart? I know you like telling your teachers, teacher, you look smart. Oh. Shiko, did you used to tell your teacher that? Oh, yes. I had an English <laughs> teacher that was absolutely lovely. She used to dress very well. Her hair was always beautiful. I believe it was not only the English teacher. All oh. teachers. <laughs> <laughs> so in order uh -huh. to achieve this, you need to create a good daily routine. Okay. So that you stay fit, you stay healthy, mm -hmm. you stay clean and tidy. So a good daily routine. This is something you do every day. Yes. Okay. So one of those. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me, before we go there, mm -hmm. what do you use on daily basis? Just look at the table here and pick one among the items we have. I use this. You pick, you tell me what it is. So Lana, just watch Shiko, what she's picking, and then she'll tell us the use. This is toothpaste. Mm-hmm. How do you uh, use it? You use it with a toothbrush. Uh -huh. My own toothbrush. This one is not mine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's you for the studio. To, to brush your teeth every day so that you can have a lovely smile like mine. Lana, are you sure it's not hers? Just look at the toothbrush and look at her coats. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they match. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> uh -huh. So, I want us to look at these pictures. Mm -hmm. We have the first boy holding a comb, mm -hmm. we have the second boy who looks a bit confused. Mm -hmm. So, when you look at them, you've told me, for you to be told every time you look smart, mm -hmm. there are healthy habits that you should keep. That's right. And you've shown us the toothbrush and the toothpaste. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at these two pictures, even you learn back at home, which picture is telling us which learner is well-groomed and which learner is poorly groomed? I think the one with the comb is the one that is well groomed. You can see he's combing his hair and it's not as naughty as, as the other. The second the picture. Second picture. Lena, what do you think? The second one looks like he has just woken up. He's very late for school uh -huh. and he, he's not sure what to do now. So according to you, the first one is well groomed. Yes. Do you agree, Lana? Let's see. 
very good mm -hmm. it is well groomed and the second one is poorly groomed mm. but we have people shiko you've seen boys who are like that ah, we even have seen girls that. i've seen that they call that style unkept i don't know what they call it I what don't do they call it lana it. unkept <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I'm not sure. Okay. Because some keep it and they say it's un unkept. It's a hairstyle, kind of. It actually is a hairstyle, but I think there's also some cleaning and, and, and that oiling need to that do. goes through it so that it oh. can actually look good. And okay. not just having dirty hair that you have never really That washed. is unkept, yeah. like the name. Mm. Let's look at this video here and see what is happening. Uh. Look at that boy, the way he looks. Mm. Oh. And then oh, all of a sudden, ah, no, he's Lana, hmm? what did you realize? The boy was unkept, yeah? Yes. But right now, he's, nice he's and looking groomed. nice. And yes. you can see he's even smiling now yes. because he knows. Yes. Just the way when I told you, you look smart. You are really happy. You are smiling. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the pictures of the two girls. Oh boy. Picture A. Mm -hmm. Is she well groomed mm -hmm. or not? Uh, she's not well groomed. She's not well groomed? No. Let's find out. Yes, she's poorly groomed. groomed. What about picture B? Oh, she's grooming herself now. She's well groomed. She's well groomed mm -hmm. because you can see her. She's busy combing, combing her, her, her hair. hair. And we have a comb here that you can use uh -huh. when you want to look nice. Good. But remember, again, these are personal items. We do so not we do share not share. Personal items. Very good. Yes. Now, we want to see how she's doing it okay. look at the video clip Ooh, her hair is nice and long yes but yeah. when you look at it the way it was before mm -hmm. it looked shorter it looked because shorter and look at it it's in knots it doesn't look very good very neat mm. now what i want you to do mm -hmm. i want you to choose one item mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. you had chosen toothpaste and toothbrush mm -hmm. maybe you can use the same or pick another one mm -hmm. Tell me, why do you use it as a daily habit? Lana, back at home, you can also pick one of the things that you use daily and tell your brother, your sister, or the caregiver what the use is and why you should use it. Okay. I'm still going to pick the toothpaste and, and the, the toothbrush, toothbrush because, because it matches your coat. That too. It okay. matches my coat. Good. <laughs> now, uh -huh. tell us, why do you think you should practice that particular healthy habit number of one brushing teeth it's very healthy mm -hmm. and i'll be more confident to talk to you face to face if i know my breath does not stink very good so meaning if you don't brush your teeth uh oh what will come out you will smell bad, bad. smell yes. thank you yeah so these are other practices that promote good grooming in mm -hmm. adolescence mm -hmm. you can see what that person is doing He's busy brushing his shoes. Yes, he's yes. polishing the shoes. Mm -hmm. did, did you polish your shoes when you're in school? Yes. Constantly. Or mommy used to do it for you? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You come from school, you groom your, you, you brush your shoes, you wash your own socks, wash your own shirt. Yeah. Because you're a grown up now. Take care of yourself. Yes. Yeah. You're a teenager mm -hmm. and you want to look neat. That's right. Lana, do you brush your own shoes? If you've not been brushing your shoes, this is the time to start brushing your shoes. Can you tell us if you do, if you brush your own shoes every day on our social media at EduTV Kenya so that we can get to know each other, right? Also say hello to us. Tell us if you're actually enjoying these lessons. It would be great to hear from you. And by the way, mm -hmm. the person brushing is done. Okay. The shoe looks nice now. It does. Now, this is the one you had chosen. Mm -hmm. It is also another practice that promote good grooming. Mm -hmm but especially in adolescence so don't just wake up and feel that i'm late mm -hmm. and then you dash out of the house make sure you brush That's and you know right. how many times you should brush your teeth mm -hmm. at least at least two twice. times yes yes yeah. twice mm -hmm. so let's look at this boy brushing his teeth mm -hmm. Ooh. he is a teenager an adolescent and he's brushing because he doesn't want to have bad breath yes. you know if you don't brush uh shiko you'll be talking to me and i'll be moving away mm -hmm. you won't have any friends yes yeah mm -hmm. but there are those who will just like you but they'll tell you please practice good 
grooming. Right. So this is the second one we have seen. The first one was brushing the shoes. I, I know you can remember during those old days, mm -hmm. there are boys or girls who could come to school. It is very early in the morning, maybe it's a Monday morning, mm -hmm. and their shoes are very dirty. Yeah. So if you're an adolescent, remember, you have to practice good grooming. grooming. When you brush your shoes, actually, they used to just make the whole uniform come together and look really, really good. Yes. And even if you say something to, to, to the teachers, and listen. To, yes, they're yes. able to listen to and you. listen. Yes. Because I'll be looking at how smart you are. Mm. Yes. Yeah, people are able to take you seriously when you groom well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, you're very clever, Shiko. That's right. So good grooming as a daily habit, mm -hmm. healthy habit. Okay. Adolescents should maintain good grooming mm -hmm. by the first one, taking a bath daily so as to avoid bad smell. That's right. I remember in our last lesson, we talked about uh, some changes that uh, occur when we in adolescence. And one of those changes was sweating. Yes. Yes. So the sweating increases. Imagine. So imagine you're sweating more, which means there's bad smell coming from your body. And Sweat you don't does shower not daily. Well. Oh, no. So you should look for a time. Is it morning? But you should shower at least every morning. Mm. But there are those who fear cold water and say, oh, or some go. <laughs> You've had stories where some go to the bathroom and they run the water and they're just standing there and then they or apply. They slap the water <laughs> on the wall and move away. Yes, and get out with that yeah. towel like they've taken. So as an adolescent, you should take a bath daily That's because right. we don't want you smelling bad just like the way shiko has said yeah. remember you're sweating a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so by maintaining their hair also mm -hmm. they need to do certain things mm -hmm. i can see your hair is not plated no it's not but it is well combed it is you look very nice thank you so if you are not plating mm -hmm. you should comb your your hair. your hair that's right and for boys it is always good they should not keep long hair like us. Mm -hmm. They should go at least and do what? Shave and it. shave the yes. hair. Even girls can shave their hair and, and, and still look good. Yeah, yes. they do. Mm -hmm. They do. Yeah. Yes. If you know you cannot maintain your hair, mm -hmm. maybe you, you're those who cry when they're combing their hair, then you can shave. Okay. And you'll, I'm not saying shaving is for boys only. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. yes. Okay. It can be even for guys. <laughs> but thank you. Uh -huh. And then plating, that mm -hmm. comes for girls. Yeah. So... For girls, we know a lot of things happen to adolescent girls mm -hmm. because that is the time you even start menstruating. That's right. We said some of the changes that happen during adolescence, the breasts enlarging, the hips broaden, the, they start menstruating, mm -hmm. boys grow chin, mm -hmm. hair, they are taller, you know. Those are physical changes. Those are physical yes. changes. So even this one is a physical change. Mm -hmm. So during that time, as an adolescent, you're supposed to change your sanitary towel regularly. That's right. Don't use one, the one you left with home. Please carry some spare, yeah. extra, so that you change. Yes, but mm. sometimes some of them are a little shy and they don't want to ask for those provisions, which shouldn't be the case. We have female teachers, uh -huh. and they can usually trust them and talk to them. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Let's look at another one. Shaving the hair under the armpits and pubic area. Why should we do this? Should we do that? Okay. Yes, because huh. they hold a lot of sweat and dirt. Okay. Which can bring Me, the as bad a grown up, smell. I, I, I shave. Is this too much? I'm sorry if this is mm. too much information. But mm. uh, I don't know if, if uh, I, I wasn't sure teenagers should be shaving. They should. Okay. Because remember, the hair is growing. Mm -hmm. And we develop differently. Okay. So you can imagine, mm -hmm. just like the hair... The uh -huh. head hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There are those oh, who yeah. have a lot. Uh -huh. There are those who have thin hair. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine if you are in that category, mm -hmm. those who have a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. So you can't stay with it. Okay. And we have seen why. That's a good because tip. of that mm -hmm. sweat and dirt, mm -hmm. you'll smell. All right. And lastly, wearing clean and decent clothes. That's right. Yes. Clean and decent, decent clothes. clothes. So that you can please God. Of course. Yes. Like teacher Nasa's <laughs> lovely dress. Even yours is okay. Thank Shiko. you. <laughs> yes. So we should wear clean. Mm -hmm. The first important thing is they must be clean. Yeah. And then decent. Okay. So let's go to Ooh. an exercise. 
And before we go to this exercise, mm -hmm. I'll still take you back to the table. Okay. I don't know why you only chose one. And mm -hmm. yet we have something here. We have this. You also Ooh. have yours. I was wondering why we you have brought a keys. <laughs> <laughs> So, so kids, they're, they're, they're nail cutters. I, I, I want us uh -huh. to at least do one good grooming habit uh -huh. that you think can make your appearance look different. We can cut our nails. You my, can cut your nails. Mine are nice and short. Yours are short. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, that's good. So mm -hmm. what else can you do? I, I, could, I could comb my hair. Okay. But, you know, we don't share personal items. That's true. Mm -hmm. What are the scissors for? For shaving hair? No. Let's not shave one because <laughs> hair. <laughs> that should not be good no, for no, anybody. No, 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 no. <laughs> that is the next thing we, we want to do. Okay. Because I wanted you to cut this paper ah. and just make one of the items that are here. To make? Yes. Okay. You I, can... What I want you to do is okay. you place it here, trace it, and then ah. use the pair of scissors right. to cut it. Okay. So what are you going to choose? I because you've told me you don't want to share my comb, which uh -huh. is true. Uh -huh. You should use your own. Uh -huh. So what item are you going to choose? To trace. Yes. Um, but meanwhile, uh -huh. I can be practicing good grooming. All right. I can cut my fingernails. Uh -huh. May I use this? Yes, you may. Yes. So pick one uh -huh. as you draw. And I draw and yes. trace it. Okay. So uh, let's see. I want them short and... This one's very difficult mm -hmm. too. So I'm, I'm going to pick the toothbrush again. No, let me pick this and I think this. this was the only long one. So I'm done. Oh, okay. How do they look like? They look short. fantastic, nice. I don't want you to see this one. <laughs> <laughs> see? <laughs> okay. Uh... Like I said, my aunt's... Now, I think you've chosen the comb because you really wanted to comb your hair. I really did. So, Lana, what have you chosen back at home? Ah. Because I want you to choose one of the items that you use for good grooming, draw it on a piece of paper, and then cut it out. Lana, I am 100% sure you are better at this than me. Let's find out yes. if you're going to draw better than the Lana. If you have been watching the Edu channel, you have definitely seen some of my arts and, <laughs> and craft lessons. So Lana, you are the winner already. You have already <laughs> draw <won>. your item. <laughs> oh, oh, Show oh, them before look, cutting. I was, I was able to trace. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you're going to use the pair of scissors mm -hmm. and cut it around. Oh, be careful with scissors. And there's a surprise waiting for you. There is. Yeah. Fantastic. I had surprise. Now I'm very motivated. Yeah. All You're right. going to roll model and show us how you can use your own. Okay. How, how I can use my own comb? Own comb. Because uh -huh. you didn't want to use mine. Let me take it. Oh. So I want to see how you're going to use yours. Remember, okay. Lana, for you to be good groomed, you need some of these items. And Shiko has chosen a comb. I have chosen a comb because I need to kind of comb my hair. My hair... Is nice and clean mm -hmm. and it feels very good to comb and I can my see hair. you're cutting out nicely I am thank you I was, was worried that I was not doing it no, 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 right no, you're doing it good okay I hope you're also doing yours maybe you can send us pictures of what you cut out um, on our Facebook and Twitter channels at EduTV Kenya. remember if you actually miss a lesson you can watch it at the Kenya education cloud because you know that is fun to do, right? And you know, when they have time, uh -huh. they can cut other items also and stick them in their scrapbooks. Awesome! Yeah. That sounds like a great idea. We You'll would also love. stick yours in the scrapbook Yay, later. My comb is looking <laughs> fantastic. Look at that. Show our Lana back at home. Look. Yay! It's beautiful. That's a... Now, I want you to roll model and uh -huh. show us how do we use this item for good grooming. So this item, you hold it by is this the handle this yes, is that's the handle, the handle. Mm -hmm. and then the pointy things are what goes into your hair and you comb it and you're actually and you comb combing it. your hair <laughs> and you comb it and you comb it thank you so yeah. much shiko and i believe the liner also has drawn and cut mm -hmm. don't forget that you can draw other items cut them and stick them in your scrapbook fantastic so let's find other good grooming practices that we've not talked about in our lesson okay but they are in our word puzzle Ooh. so i want you to look at the words on your right hand side on brushing right. uh 
-huh. exercise, polishing, ironing, combing, laundering, bathing, and shaving. Okay. So all these words are in the word puzzle. Great. So Lana, we are going to try and find them in the word puzzle. I found Polish. You found Polish? Mm -hmm. Which row? Uh, the farthest right corner. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, yeah, the farthest right one. And I found... The last row. The last row. There. Very good. Mm -hmm. I also found, let me see. What can you see, Lana? Yes, you have oh, to. I found rem brush. Remember, it's a word puzzle. I you found, found brush. brush. It's right here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there it is. Yes, there's brush. Very brushing, good. Brushing, brushing. Uh -huh. All right, so now we're looking for exercise. Let's Just see. one more. One more? One more. Uh, let's see if we can find something. What can you see? What can you see? Somebody. I can see it somewhere. Ironing. I found ironing. <laughs> I found it. Oh. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Ironing. That's good. So I believe, Lana, you've also found a few. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have here. So the first one is brushing. brushing the one we have. Mm -hmm. The second one, exercise. Mm -hmm. There it is. Now we are looking for polishing, which you had found. Mm -hmm. That one. Yeah. That was very good. Uh -huh. We go to combing. combing. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Laundering. Yeah. But this one is we what have, to use for laundering. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bathing. Mm -hmm. Which one are we missing now? Shaving. Shaving. Ah, so do it. we have all of them? We have all of them. Sorry. Okay. Now we go to our home task. That was wonderful. You deserve a clap, yeah? Thank you. A nice clap. Another okay. one. A heavy one. Pam, 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 pam. Hey. Beautiful. Now for your home task with the guardians, guidance of a caregiver. Practice good grooming. Why is it going back? I think it still we wants us to fun. find we more. So I want you mm -hmm. to practice good grooming and discuss the importance of good grooming. Remember we have said why you should use these items on the table and their uses. All right, mm. great, look at that. Did you have fun on this lesson? I actually had a very good time. Um, look at my cutout. I'm still going to be very proud stick about it. that. Yes, yeah, stick it somewhere. In a scrapbook. You know? And thank you so much for watching this lesson. Remember, we have more lessons coming each and every day. And we hope we're going to see you next time. This is Teacher Nancy Nasa. Yes. My name is Wanjiko Karaoke, but you can call me Shiko. Our sign language interpreter's name is Maureen Juguna for now. It's goodbye. Bye. National Educator.